Hello beautiful people! Today we're going to play and review Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse for the Sega Master System. Let's do this! Welcome everybody! Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you are tuning in for the very first time, then as always it's a pleasure to have you on board with us. And without further ado, let's get on with the show. Okay guys, so for those of you who are not familiar with Castle of Illusion, Castle of Illusion was first released by Sega back in 1991. And the main storyline is, Minnie Mouse has been kidnapped by the evil witch Michelle he was trying to steal Minnie Mouse's youth and in order for me to defeat the evil witch I need to find the seven hidden gems of the rainbow which are scattered throughout various kingdoms and defeat the bosses along the way so yeah for those who are not aware they did release this as various versions for the Mega Drive and the Master System. They are slightly different. But in my opinion, I do think the Master System version is better overall for me. Absolutely love playing this as a kid. But I'll never forget when I first got this and put the cartridge in. And I was absolutely blown away with the graphics. Right, just like a cartoon. Really good animation. Great soundtrack. And it was one of those games. On the surface, it does look like it's an easy game. But I can assure you it's definitely not. The game can get frustrating at times. And it does have various puzzles that will test your patience. Get in! Okay, so that's the first gem. And it's your life as well. So, for any of you who use social media, you can follow me down below at the Mank Retro Gamer on Instagram, where I do post regular retro gaming content on there. And also, when I go live on YouTube with a new upload it's a fantastic retro gaming community on there so give us a follow everyone will make you feel welcome and it's good to get involved so I do remember playing this toy level and it's one of them levels that really did get frustrating so let's see how we do guys enjoying this so far as much as I am. It's been an absolute pleasure to play this and I've been looking forward to reviewing this one for quite some time. Yeah this game is definitely must have 
It's all in your collection. Massive replay value. And it's one of them games that once you've mastered it, you can happily play it all over again. Never get bored with it. And there's usually always something new that you'll find that you've missed. Oh! Take your time. So easy to misjudge this if you don't time it right. Already. The sun come down nice. Awful, awful. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the pattern of this first of all. Get in! Okay, that's two down. Okay. Oh, 
god, I remember this level. It's all about timing. So frustrating. See what I mean? It'll do. Oh! Okay. So you can see the game is starting to get more difficult now. Sliding down that, what do we do? The key is not to rush this. I don't want to get trapped with the screen. Oh, come on. this up shortly and I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I had so yeah I'm gonna leave you my final thoughts and my overall score so as I touched upon before graphic wise absolutely amazing great soundtrack got massive replay value. Really impressed with this. So, I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's the first Sega game, as a system game, that I'm actually give a 10 out of 10 for. So yeah, 10 out of 10. So if you have enjoyed this game and this review, Appreciate if you just smash that like button, stick a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I've been the Mancretual Gamer. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye.